What's up Aries? This is going to be a love forecast for the second half of September. This is for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. I also offer personal readings and all the info for that's in the description box of the video. And I am on TikTok and Instagram. If you want to follow me over there, I put those links in the description box as well. And before we get started, I just want to give a very special mention of this company, Ephemeris, that sent me this really beautiful necklace. It is my birth chart on a chain with personal engraving on the back. So it's really unique. I love this necklace. It's my favorite piece and I, I literally never take it off. So if you're interested in getting um, one for yourself or for a loved one, because this makes a great gift, I've put all the information for the company and my special discount code for you guys in the description box of the video. Okay, so let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in please for my Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love, second half of September. Any love messages for my Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, second half of September. Okay, three of pentacles, three of wands, eight of pentacles, devil card and the tower. Ooh, and the five of swords and the knight of wands. Something is crumbling, Aries, basically. So I feel like there's a situation um, where there's been maybe a lot of um, desire, a lot of temptation, a lot of passion, but a lot of maybe on and off, stop, start, um, swoop in and out kind of a vibe. And I feel like it's sort of coming to a head with the five of swords. I think with the five of swords, there's sort of a lot of conflict and drama in this situation or something has you just sort of exhausted. I feel like you've put a lot of work or effort into this Aries. Um, you could work with this person, that's a small portion of you. But I feel that um, something is just like getting to a point where now you're like, I don't know if this is worth my while anymore. The Five of Swords is loss, it's defeat, and it is conflict. So maybe you have trouble communicating with this person or you can't see eye to eye with them. The Tower card is usually a disruption energy or it's a confrontation. So it could be what's brewing. It's almost like when the Tower comes in, something that's not working must go. So it's either like, this is just not working for you anymore and it's time to go. Um, or something within the connection really needs to shift and change if you are gonna move forward. But usually before the, the you know, there's like the, the storm before the calm or the breakdown before the breakthrough. So there's some kind of a, a um, conflict or a confrontation that's brewing. Um, maybe it's that you want this person to invest more in this situation, to put more effort into the situation. Um, you know, maybe that's what you've been waiting on. Three of Wands is like waiting for your ships to come in. Now, for some of you, I do have two times three cards and three cards to me often can mean that there's outside energies, outside factors. You know, you could be dealing with someone where work is a priority and you feel like you're not. Um, or there's a lack of cooperation maybe because of outside energies, friends, family, romantic. Okay, um, I'm gonna get a little bit more on this and where this is headed. The Wheel of Fortune seems to be a positive shift though happening Aries, so perhaps there's a confrontation, but the result is a positive turn, like a turn for the better. Um, maybe this is about having some kind of an honest conversation, because I feel like this person's gonna swoop in again with passion, with that Knight of Wands, um, but perhaps, you know, there's this confrontation brewing. Okay, let me have a look what this Wheel of Fortune's all about. Um, seven of pentacles. Yeah. So you've built some kind of groundwork with this person and it, it's like the eight of pentacles means that you've been hard at work on it, but perhaps it's like you need to get them to sort of cooperate and put that effort in. If you're going to build from the seven to the eight to the 10, which is ultimately having a future vision and cooperating and working together for something solid, right? King of wands. Okay. So you've been waiting to see how things play out. Some of you are dealing with an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. Okay, or this is you in your maybe, you know, action forward um, energy, king energy, wanting to take some kind of control of the situation, um, take a leadership role, let's see, um, queen of swords, and maybe to speak a truth. So queen of swords is someone that's sort of not um, willing to take any more shit. 
she sort of speaks the truth and she's also happy to cut things away when they're not working for her. For some of you, you might also be exploring another option because I do have these three cards, right? So I think this person's coming in because they, they do desire you, they're very attracted to you. Um, devil card can mean that they don't want to even let you go or maybe you and this person have trouble letting each other go, you sort of hold on. Um, but I do think you're going to be speaking your truth and perhaps also you're trying to make some decisions of whether you um, want to keep investing or perhaps there's someone else in the mix that you're thinking might be more cooperative or more on the same page. Let's get a little bit more on that three of pentacles, three of wands. Yeah, so we've got an emperor energy and the seven of swords. Okay, so what you've been waiting on is for a person, this person to come in and show you stability and show you that they're willing to put the work or the effort in with that emperor card. Some of you are dealing with someone that is maybe a head of a company or a boss that's just for some of you. Um, otherwise, this would be about someone, you've been waiting on someone to take control of the situation, but now I feel like you're taking control of the situation where you don't want to wait around any longer for someone to come to the table. Um, Emperor card is a father and a husband type figure. Um, so it could be that you are dealing with someone that has responsibilities elsewhere and therefore they have been maybe not as invested or they haven't made you a priority, as I said. The Seven of Swords means that there's a sense of um, distrust between you and this person. Or you feel like maybe they've been, um, yeah, just not entirely uh, honest or honorable in their actions. So let's have a look at this with the Queen of Swords. What's your truth? Four of Wands. So I feel like you're going to be having an honest conversation maybe with this person about what you're looking for, which is stability. I also feel like you're willing to cut it away because you might have something else that you are looking at that might look more stable for you. I've got a king and a queen of swords here. So I do see you and this person um, sort of having meeting, you know, for a conversation and speaking truths to one another. But the thing with the king and queen of swords is when they are... Um, in that sort of reactive energy, they tend to just cut each other's heads off. And that could be the tower that's brewing here. Um, when they're in good energy, they actually communicate well and they're very open and diplomatic. But I actually think Aries, it's like you're at a crossroads now, two of wands, um, and you're sort of tired of waiting um, for this person to kind of match you at your level of effort. And I think that that's probably what you're gonna be doing. You're probably gonna be expressing that and telling them that it's like, your way or the highway now, right? <laughs> okay, I'll get some more on it. Tell me, yeah, the world. I think you're ready to sort of just close this off um, or at least end this old cycle. I don't think you're willing to sort of put up with any more sort of um, in out, hot, cold behavior um, or someone that sort of has their attention outside of your connection. You know what I mean? So the world. So let's look at this person's feelings and intentions towards you now as we move into September six of swords okay so this person's like two of pentacles juggling a lot it doesn't have to be people but it could just be that they're overwhelmed with responsibility financial responsibility um yeah they could have some toxic habits Aries with that devil card they could have addictions Let's have a look. Three of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. Interesting because we do have um, some cross energies here. So we've got Three of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. So this person does want to show you that they're willing to cooperate. We do have King of Swords again. Interesting. King of Swords, King of Swords. Um, they want to have an honest conversation with you. Wow, guys. King and a Queen of Swords. Okay. King and a Queen of Swords. So the top and bottom deck energy, overarching energy is is conversation it's truth it's honesty but i did remind you but i did and i must remind you guys um say i did say and i must remind you guys in good balanced energy these two can cooperate they're they're diplomatic they're honest they come to balanced solutions and in not good energy they rip each other's heads off or cut each other away completely so there, there might just be a bit of you know you and this person could have a lot of trouble communicating or seeing eye to eye um, so I do feel like that what's brewing is another conversation and another sort of coming together, speaking, speaking truth to one another, um, and a sense of wanting to cooperate. This person does want to, they intend to give you something maybe more stable. Um, but what's going on here? Six of wands, they want your attention. They want success with you. So what's the block here? What's going on? Why is there this devil energy? The magician card, eight of wands. 
One more. Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Something here has this person. You know what I'm getting, um, Aries? The Eight of Swords is usually the card of fear. Um, I do feel like this person has some fears when it comes to love. I think this person has some issues when it comes to abandonment. Five of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. I feel like this person might have um, had troubles in the past, maybe in love and relationships. Um, and then that makes them sort of fearful to really come in and really open up and be vulnerable or they have trouble communicating their feelings because the swords, king and queen of swords, they can be quite cold and detached. Um, they can have trouble with their emotions in their shadow. So I do feel like this person has trouble with communicating how they feel. So they tend to kind of come in and then they sort of become quite avoidant. Knight of Wands energy and devil card can also be fears. Um, so I do feel like this person just feels always very stuck. They overthink things. They get trapped in their mind. Um, they're worried of being, um, they're scared of getting hurt, but they are trying to manifest um, this solid commitment with you, Ace of Pentacles. And they want to move away from drama. And then we've got the Devil card again, the Two of Swords, and they want to try to work through their fears or what's tying them down or, or preventing them from moving ahead. Now, the other thing, if you're dealing with a person with addictions, this person could be coming to tell you that they're getting some help. Three of Pentacles can be support. It can be um, literally like, you know, professionals helping. Um, or otherwise, this can also be the case of someone that has been stuck, tied to a third party situation. Maybe they have financial responsibilities. They were in a commitment or a connection outside of yours. Um, and that is what they're trying to work towards leaving, leaving behind, or they're trying to work through um, some of their toxic habits or blocks. Okay, they want to move away from that so that they can offer you something stable. But Aries, I'm not telling you that you should necessarily take something that's not healthy or someone that's you feel is wasting your time. There is going to be a conversation that can go either way, Aries. That's why I, I'm not giving you the, the outcome because it's your decision and it'll be different in each situation because this king and queen of swords can go either way, as I said. Okay, all right, Aries. So there is this person is coming back in. They do desire you. They don't want to let you go. Um, but there's some things that need to be shifted and changed and work through for this to be solid. Um, whether that's their, even if that's their intention, because I do have two aces. So there's opportunity for a new beginning in truth, honesty, um, and commitment, right? But it's going to take two, um, and cooperation, right? So make sure you're on the same page. Yeah. Um, all right, Aries, I, I thought, I hope that was clear. Um, let's see. Yep. Ace of Pentacles again, prosperity begins. So this person coming in with the intention that they want to commit Empress. So we had the Emperor and we have the Empress here. So they see you, um, you know, as their counterpart. And I do think you two are a match on a level, um, intuition, but use your intuition. Okay. There also could be, um, something revealed to you because this is sort of when things are kept secret and hidden. So there could be something coming to light because we have that Ace of Swords energy. We have that, you know, and we have Two of Swords. So something has been um, unclear and it's, or, or hidden, and it's been keeping the connection stuck or stagnant. And now it's like, it could be becoming very clear. And also there's been maybe indecision or stagnancy and now it's time to make a decision and you could be needing to use your intuition to make the decision. Destiny, okay. And lovers, okay. So there is a fortunate turn happening for you, um, Aries. I do feel like this is a shift. So if you've been waiting to have this conversation or you've been waiting for some kind of a shift, three of ones, you waiting for someone to come in and show you that they want to put effort in. This is a positive turn. We do have the lovers card. So I think that this is like a strong connection, a soul connection. Lovers card is also about choices and duality. So I also think that you might be needing to make a decision. Um, and also spirit saying that you don't need to worry if this doesn't feel right, because use your intuition, there could be something else that you're looking at that might be more aligned for you. So destiny is turning in your favor to bring you what you actually want if that makes sense. Okay. Um, balance. Exactly. So 
balance justice card. So this is the card of truth. It's the card of decisions. It's also the card of fairness and balance. So again, you know, either you and this person can come to something balanced, um, right? And where everything is sort of, um, it's equal give and take, it's fair, or you need to make the right decision for you to move forward um, in a better direction. Yeah, the waiting game, but it is something that you've been waiting on. So um, even if it's this person coming in to sort of express something to you, it could be that that's like the rebalancing that you've been waiting on. You've been waiting for some, this someone, person to show up and put some work or effort in, Emperor and Empress. Um, yeah. Okay. So anyway, Aries, I lost my train of thought because, um, I think it's Mercury retrograde. I'm just struggling a little bit, um, with my channeling and getting the words out. But basically Aries, someone's coming in. They do see you as a, as a match, as a counterpart. They want to show you that they want to put effort in. Um, and I think it will come down to your decision. What feels good and right, whether or not they really are at the same level as you and are, and are showing up, um, you know, in a balanced way. Okay. All right, Aries, I hope that that resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, as I said, and I'll check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.